everybody, AmpreparePairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. So we have another Ameritron AL811H amplifier. Had 811 tubes in it, one failed. So the customer's ordering a matched quad of 572B tubes from Pentalabs. Awesome company, great customer service. Can't say enough good stuff about them over there. Great, just great people over there. So, has the older pink resistors. I lifted them, checked them. They're all within tolerance, so I'm going to take them out, put in new resistors. So, the caps will have a nice long life. When these resistors fail, that's when one of the caps fail. So, if you catch them prior to them failing, put better resistors in, you'll be good to go. Okay, so this needs the BIOS modification. Already has a string of diodes in there, so that's good. Someone put a soft start in that's coming out. That's not needed, and it's not really installed that well. So, use the grids gr directly grounded. Let's see, someone changed one of the grid loading resistors at some point, left the other ones. So, I'm going to take all that out, ground the grids. I'll put the gas discharge tubes in at the base of the sockets. I'll take out the metal oxide variistors there on the board and uh, redo that meter protection diode. It's probably shorted anyway, but someone did a sloppy job putting that in. So, so I'm going to get to work and I will see you guys when it is all done. I also check the SU239 connectors and I'll see if they need to be replaced. So see you, see you guys soon. Stay tuned. So I want to show this on video. So here's the Output SO239 and the input, new, close to new PL259. You can see that it doesn't have much grip, just slips in and out very easily. This one has a little more grip, has decent grip on this one, but the output one is the important one. You want that to have a really strong grip on the center pin. You never want to have an open on the output of the amplifier, so I'm gonna replace both with high quality Teflon dielectric SO239s. So, back to work. See you guys soon. Okay, so I have the grids grounded really well. You can see, I go right to the metal. One, one, one over here, one over here. Added the gas discharge tubes. So if a tube somehow flashed from the plate all the way to the filament, it would come to ground right at the socket instead of back feeding to the board. This one doesn't have the gas discharge tube on the board, didn't have it, had MOVs or remove those. So the most current production amps, they put the gas discharge tube on the board and they ground the grids to these screws. A screw here, one per socket. The problem is I've seen these nuts loosen up. This amp, the grid connection was going through the wire to a resistor to ground and you, know, you have all that lead length. This is the more stable way. So, these are super tight. People say, well, there are four pins on each socket. Like I said before, two of them are for the filament. One does nothing within the tube. It's not electrically connected to anything. And then you have the grid connection. So it's very important to maintain that one grid pin to ground. You don't want to have a bad connection there. You end up, you'll end up de uh, destroying the tube. So I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this, and I will see you guys soon. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL811H. I'll go over everything I did really quick. So went ahead and replaced the meter protection diode, replaced all those resistors, did the bias modification, put the longer bolt through the bottom of the choke, because the one that com it comes with is really short and a lot of times it falls out and play choke can get damaged during shipping and also end up damaging the threads at the base of the choke because it only catch catches a couple. Removed the MOVs, saw everything I did underneath, cleaned the rotary switches with deoxid gold, got rid of that soft start, put in brand new SO239 connectors, silver plated Teflon dielectric. We secured the output safety choke. I install this connection here and solder to that. So that's about it. 
to replace the fuses. It's on uh, 120, gets 12 amp fuses, 12 amp fast blow. So, thanks for watching. If you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. And this got a brand new set of Penta Labs 572 B tubes. Awesome company. Please like, share, and subscribe. AmpRepairGuy.com 203-892-4119. Seventy-three.